Good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So looking at the US 30 there, you can see there we've tried to make a little bit of headway this morning, breaking above potential resistance at 17.738, just as the Asian markets have had a little shot in the arm as uh, China in particular is now at seven year highs, following on more uh, stimulus packages and infrastructure projects being announced there at the weekend. Uh, uh, update from Janet Yellen on Friday during the speech gave uh, extra credence to the idea that she did expect an interest rate rise to happen at some point this year, but be massively driven by macro economic data as ever so they're tying themselves into quite an interesting um, uh, area there but um, we are just below the 55 period SMA the other technicals are relatively neutral pressure will still remain most global equity markets are a little bit higher this morning apart from the UK 100 that seems to be struggling a little bit as commodities turned south um, looking at this picture right here you can see the vol volatile session we had there on Friday we're actually a little bit in positive territory this morning but uh, I'm interested to see if that continues on 21 period SMA coincides nicely with the 6900 level, uh, which could be expected to act as potential resistance. You've got a crossover there on the MACD. Other uh, technical indicators are relatively neutral, so for as long as we're trading below 69.6, .6, this looks a little bit tough for it to break higher. Japan is benefiting from that move in China overnight. Um, volatile session again there on Friday, but still managed to eke out positive gains. Another bounce today, higher. Uh, looks to be uh, hugging that 21 period SMA. Um, but we might come into a little bit of resistance around about 19,607, but we're not that far away from 20,000, which will of course be that big psychological level that many commentators in Asia will talk about if it gets broken. So dollar yen, the dollar actually has staged a little bit of a comeback versus some of the other uh, FX pairs, but against the yen, uh, because of the safe haven buying we did see there uh, at the end of last week, you can see that at 119 as ever, is uh, the price seems to kind of oscillate quite nicely across there since November last year. And uh, even though we had this hammer formation here on Thursday, it didn't exactly have a big massive turnaround the following two sessions, so um, that's included, inclusive of, of today. So that's that's Friday and that's today's. And we've got non farm payrolls this Friday, and we've got a shorter week with all the holidays. So um, dollar yen probably going to continue to uh, to bounce around about 119 uh, until we get non farm payrolls out of the way. So then moving on to crude oil with Texas, coming off again there on Friday uh, as oil inventory data adds weight, but the Iranian deal seems to be edging ever closer. So a lot of it, there's still a lot of ifs and buts, but should the ends of sanctions happen and there's still a lot of stuff for them to sort out um, that will be a big um, a big flood of oil into the market at some point and that's going to add a lot of extra weight on there so $43.30 is still a longer term potential support and that's quite a savage bearish engulfing um, candlestick pattern that we had there on Friday so from a technical perspective things don't look that great so moving on to gold gold is getting hammered again big reverse from 12.18 and as that dollar begins to gain a little bit of extra momentum um, people are taking some profit after this big move uh, from, from here all the way up to the tip right here 11.86 being the potential support level for us to look out for should uh, gold continue its move to the downside so finishing up with euro dollar and GBP USD as you can see one spot 0.786 looks to be the potential support level that will also coincide with 21 period SMA and the other technicals are relatively neutral um, but there isn't a huge amount of economic data due out we'll come back to that in a second so finishing up with cable cable uh, moving lower quite aggressively this morning one spot 48.13 as ever has been uh, a level we've talked about well since uh, all of March uh, coming into the final session of March there as well uh, it's looking like it could break it it's really uh, accelerating this morning so watch for one spot 48.13 for a move lower so looking at the market calendar what's actually due out today well we've got at 1 p.m. UK time you've got German CPI uh, and US housing data uh, and that will obviously be interesting for euro dollar fast forward on to Tuesday you've got German retail sales and employment data UK balance of payments and GDP uh, followed by eurozone uh, CPI and un unemployment data so a fair amount of inflationary um, related updates there and obviously GDP will be quite quite important for, for cable as well uh, and then you've got uh, CCI in the US and then if we going to Wednesday um, Chinese data some more PMI stuff uh, lots more PMI as ever and ADP private payrolls and of course crude oil inventories so keep your eye on the chart forum as ever make insights part of the going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next